Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, hi, nice to meet you. My name is Alyssa Doxy, and today is another episode of 7 Days of Spooky Ween. Today, me, Grace, and Elijah are going to a pumpkin patch. I'm not going to make this intro super long. I'm basically just going to let you guys know what to expect in this video. I am getting ready for it, which I'm kind of excited for because I cannot tell you the last time I got like fully ready. I'm doing full face of makeup and everything. And I've literally been looking forward to this full face of makeup for two weeks. Just because like I miss doing makeup. I miss being able to like get ready and do my whole face and everything like that so I'm super excited for it. The only thing that's stressing me out is the freaking outfit because it's hot as fuck outside. It's like in the 85 degree range. I know by the time we get there we're going around 6 o'clock the temperature is going to drop but like it's so freaking hot when we do get there we're still going to be there for like 30 minutes before it starts to cool down so I'm trying to figure out what to wear. We'll figure it out together but for the most part I'm just going to start getting ready and like pick you guys up here and there but I'm really excited and I hope you guys are too because obviously you're coming with us so it's gonna be rides games pumpkin picking all that kind of stuff it should be a really fun day so i will see you guys either when the makeup is done or while we're doing the makeup i'll see you guys in a little bit okay so i just finished my eyes and my eyebrows i did a very simple look on the eye just like a neutral brown sort of thing and then my eyebrows just push them back basically but i feel like i'm okay with this i'll probably smoke out my under eye into the upper part with brown and i might do a little brown eyeliner but i don't know i don't know how much i want to go because I'm already doing a full face, so I might just keep this with the smoked out under the eye. But just wanted to update you guys. This is the look we're giving right now. Okay guys, so this looks like it's gonna be the finished look. I feel like I did the face very natural and then why does my nose contour look uneven? It's fine. <laughs> so yeah, I kept the face pretty natural. I'm gonna do my lashes and my lips when I'm done getting ready, like all together. We're actually about to get ready together right now because I still have no idea what I'm fucking wearing. Let me throw my robe on so we can go figure it out. So I have a couple different options. I'm just gonna show you guys the two pant options I was thinking about. I have these orange and white pants, which I feel like is perfect for fall slash Halloween pumpkin patch type thing. I don't know if you guys remember watching my Shein haul way back. Click right there to go watch if you haven't seen that yet. But I got these pants a fat minute ago and I still haven't gotten pictures in them. So this could be an option. Or I have these black ones that I just got from Shein for my New York trip coming up. Which that vlog is not going to be out yet so don't worry about it. But they're really cute. They have like this buckle detail right here. And they're like these cute buttons. And then they flare out at the bottom. They're really more like trousers than pants I would say. Like they're not jean material or anything it's like trouser material <sighs> but black attracts heat so that's another reason why i'm kind of like hmm, i don't know the struggle i'm gonna have is like finding something to wear with the both of them because grace made a good point cream and brown are like a fall color so with the orange and white ones i could definitely wear cream or brown with the black ones i probably want to keep it all black but i feel like that's not very festive see like i'm just stuck because i think i want to wear the orange pants i just don't know what shirt to wear it with Pink. Could wear this pink tank top with the orange and white pants. Okay, so it does match. I feel like this could be cute. Okay, I'm gonna try this on and then we'll see. Okay, so I would wear a bra with this, but this is just to kind of see the vibe it's giving. This just isn't really giving me anything. Like, this is kind of boring almost, I want to say. Yeah, I feel like this isn't the right pink to go with orange either, so this is gonna be a no for me. I have this busty pink halter top with a little butterfly on it but the only thing is i already took pictures in this but i don't know if i want to take pictures in it again but i'm just gonna try it on to see i feel like this doesn't match this just is like it doesn't match <laughs> it's giving two totally different vibes and then the colors are just like not vibing together it's kind of throwing okay we're scratching pink i'm thinking this brown tank top could be cute if i crop it so let me do that Dude, I'm like about to not go. Like, this is ugly. <laughs> What's the weather gonna be at 6 p.m.? Forecast is calling for clear skies at 6 p.m. with temperatures around 88 degrees. Why is it gonna be 88 degrees at 6 o'clock at night during October? It's cut, like, this is fucking disgusting. It's literally only gonna be 82 by 7 o'clock. I literally about to just say, fuck it, I'm gonna just do an all black outfit, but it's gonna be 80 fucking degrees. Why would I do that to myself? Damn near 90 degrees. I mean, it matches, it's just not fun. This is ugly. This is ugly. I'm literally gonna off myself, bro. See, if I had the time to shave my legs right now, I would really just shave my legs and wear this brown dress that I just got and call it a day. Because I feel like this is so cute and it matches the vibes perfectly. 
but I don't have time to shave my legs. What if I wear tights? Give me a second. I'm gonna try this out. I'll come back to you guys. Okay, I can't let you guys see me right now because I'm basically naked, but the leggings, the tights, hide the fact that I haven't shaved my legs. So I'm gonna try the dress on because we might finally be onto something. Okay, see, I don't mind this. This giving. I just wish I had a strapless bra because this is not secure like at all. And a bra would help it like stay up. I used to have a bra that had hooks that you could like take the hooks off and the straps would come off and then it'd be strapless but I have no idea where it went like literally disappeared over time but I actually really like this and I could still wear sneakers with this and like make it like a little bit more tomboyish you literally can't even tell that I have not shaved my legs so I think I actually really like this okay so as cute as the dress is it's just it's not working for me it's just not working for me I already have to keep pulling it up and like it's being annoying so I feel like this is more of like a dinner dress than going Going out and doing stuff dress and it's also kind of a little big on me so there's that too so i'm thinking i'm gonna keep the leggings try shorts oh what was your question what you, is that what you're wearing no i'm struggling right now which needs fucking two i've literally you can see how many no like i'm tried. gonna shoot myself i literally said to the camera like three times already i'm about to just not go yeah <laughs> me and grace are both fucking struggling so at least i know i'm not alone and like what is there money in here I just found twenty dollars in my shorts. So I think I'm gonna go with these jean shorts. Keep the tights. I just threw this on because my top half was naked and I didn't want to like be obviously naked on camera. But I actually don't hate this top with this. I'm just trying to think how it could work because I use this top for work a lot, so I always refrain from cutting it. But there's so many times I want to wear it for stuff, and I'm like, it would be so cute if I just cut it. But it's so hard to find tops like these, like places now you wouldn't have no idea. The top, it like it works. I'm just not gonna crop it. I need to figure out what top I'm gonna wear, and then once that's figured out, do my lashes and my lips, and then I'm gonna come back to you guys because I don't want the whole video to just be me struggling to find a fucking outfit so let me put you guys down figure this out before i blow my brains out and i will be back grace saved my life as fucking usual and she gave me this dress that she just got it's like a i don't know it gives very much like fairy vibes and i feel like with the leggings like the bedazzle and everything it goes really well and then i put these limited edition sneakers i got for my birthday vlog if you haven't seen that yet go ahead and click right up here to go watch but i like it i actually do like how it came out so now i just have to calm down <laughs> i'm literally it was stressing me out so much i was literally getting anxiety so i just have to calm down put the rest of the clothes away and then i'll do my mascara my lips and i'll be ready to go okay guys so as you can see it came together me and grace's mental breakdowns are officially over because we were able to pull it out i'm wearing the dress with the limited shoes i was telling you guys about just a simple chain and my makeup i didn't really change anything i just did my lashes and a little like tinted gloss on but i feel like it came together really cute so we are about to leave for the pumpkin patch and i will see you guys when we get there okay guys we just got to the pumpkin patch it looks mad cute in here but we're trying to figure out just like by a quick walk around of what we want to do first there's a lot of jumpers and i know that there's games and stuff so we're just gonna try and figure out what we want to do first and then i'll let you guys know what we're doing we're also in a petting zoo right now the line is somewhat long but it looks like it's moving quickly elijah doesn't want to touch the animals so he's gonna record for us he's i love animals though <laughs> i just don't want to touch them he loves animals but the stench he can't do yeah are you guys done he not done with you, bro. He not done with you. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> He's actually like genius. He did something to I him. I need to know the story. He really did something to him. <laughs> <laughs> So Alyssa is scared of heights, thank you very much, but she's doing it. I'm 
about to go kick everyone's ass in the obstacle course. <laughs> Alyssa and Elijah are about to go through this obstacle course right now. I'm gonna be documenting, so you guys are gonna come along with me. Probably gonna hear me breathing, but it's okay. They're about to come out right now. either the, those tires you think now that you up. know what it looks like you're still not gonna win no ready set go oh shit <laughs> watch the kids watch the kids pause man this is not fair we didn't get no break <laughs> how are you still down first grace <laughs> like the familial vibes and it wasn't too like too much little kids to the point where like you said yeah. like one thing that Alyssa was worried about is if there was like too many kids that we'd have to like censor more of like our actions because you know we're bigger but because there's so much space like we were able to be kids too without like worrying about hitting the other little kids yeah so that was like highlight definitely yeah oh my god the <laughs> amount of times that i face planted it's like it should be illegal i wish we got it on video no i'm no. so mad because the funniest part of grace's obstacle course with elijah my phone ran out of fucking space so you missed the funniest portion but maybe that's the point like it's a memory problem yeah. well. it's our memory. We know that it's I, it's it. moment. It's moment. <laughs> I didn't see it because i was like miles ahead whooping my ass <laughs> no elijah really just whooped everybody today um, <laughs> um i definitely beat a lot of the first time around yeah 
Everything that me and Elisha did, I won. I just want to put that out there. That was probably the most fun I've had, like, in a long time. Like, that Aww. shit was amazing. Like, it, like you said, it brought the inner child. Like, it definitely felt like, you know, I was back with my mom doing some fun shit. Yeah. Like, having the time of my life. But, like, I get to do this shit as an adult. And I get yeah. to do what I want because I'm grown. Yep, literally. So it was fantastic. Basically, we all had a great time to sum it all up. I'm really happy that we all went. Thank you guys both so much for coming. So now we're just about to go get some takeout and go watch a movie. And that's pretty much going to be the end of our night. But thank you guys for coming to the pumpkin patch with us. I hope you enjoyed day whatever it is of Spooky Ween. And I will see you guys tomorrow <laughs> or day whatever it is tomorrow of Spooky Ween. <laughs> <laughs> happy Halloween, guys. Yes.